Hi friends, uh, today we will be talking about the working of a relief valve. So I have drawn um, the internal components of a relief valve and we have a relief valve over here. So we will be opening it up and see how it works. This is actually an auxiliary relief valve which is used in a JCB equipment. Uh, it functions like a relief valve and also as an anti-cavitation valve. So in this topic we will discuss about how relief valve functions and in another video we will talk about how the anti-cavitation uh, function is happening. So before going to its function you should know why is a valve used in a hydraulic system. A hydraulic system used uh, is designed to work uh, in a definite pressure uh, due to safety requ uh, requirements. So uh, beyond that pressure it will fail. To avoid that uh, we are employing valves. So if that specified limit of the safety pressure is crossed this valve will open and uh, release the excess pressure to safeguard uh, the system. So let's see uh, how this works the internal components the main components are it has a puppet has a collar have a spring and a screw uh, let's see how it is uh, uh, functioning uh, it is placed like this and here the valve block is coming so we have the service gallery that means uh, that is the gallery where the uh, real working pressure is happening the component which is working uh, due to uh, a definite pressure uh, that will be this particular pressure which will be seeing the service gallery so when this pressure uh, raises beyond a particular limit of the safety uh, requirements of the circuit uh, this valve will open and uh, release the pressure or vent the pressure out to maintain uh, the required pressure uh, to safeguard the system. So we can see here we have a, a puppet. Uh, this is the unit. So here we have a puppet which is connected to the service gallery. So if say this is 100 pressure is the safety pressure over here. So this puppet will be pressurized towards the gallery uh, at a limit of 100 uh, bar pressure. So what happens is that when the pressure raises above 100 bar even slightly this puppet will tend to open and uh, the oil will escape through this area it will open and this port will be open so what happens is that the oil will escape uh, towards the exhaust gallery that means the exhaust gallery will be leading towards the hydraulic tank so uh, the exhaust will be happening in such a way so let's see how the puppet is linked the puppet is connected towards a collar it, uh, that is uh, holding the puppet uh, towards uh, the service gallery port and it, this collar has been pressurized with the help of a, a spring which is in uh, compression and this spring is compressed with the help of this screw so as we tighten this uh, screw the spring gets further compressed that means the pressure setting will increase and if we uh, rotate it in anti-clockwise direction the screw it will uh, release the spring and the pressure setting will reduce so for arranging or for uh, making the pressure setting we can adjust it with the help of this screw uh, with an allen key uh, or on the top of it so um, that's how uh, this uh, works so how the relief valve is uh, working let's see so we have uh, drawn the internal components just to explain how the relief valve part is uh, working so this is the service gallery this is the puppet as i have uh, already explained over here so uh, when the pressure exceeds above the 100 bar if 100 bar is the safety pressure it will open and that means the puppet will move up and the oil will escape through this area towards the exhaust gallery that means the spring will get compressed that means the collar will move up uh, releasing the pr uh, pressure outside so let's open up uh, the relief valve and see how it uh, is actually working so this is uh, the casing portion this black one so let's open it up so I am removing the casing so this is the casing portion it is remote and uh, uh, we'll be talking only about the relief valve not the anti cavitation valve so uh, let's uh, take the internal uh, part outside so this is as uh, i have shown over here this is the part which is doing the relief valve functioning so this is the screw as you can see this is the uh, screw which is tightening the spring so let's open up uh, the screw so when we open up the screw we can uh, see the spring inside so i have removed uh, this particular screw which is here so we'll be having the spring inside so okay here we have the spring so this is a spring which will be tightening this collar uh, so we uh, remove the spring so we'll get the collar and uh, the puppet now so here we have the collar and, and the puppet over here so this is the collar that means this is the collar and inside uh, to that we have the puppet so this is the puppet so this uh, puppet is uh, being fixed towards the service gallery so as the pressure comes what happens is that this puppet will uh, exert its pressure over to the collar and the collar will be connected towards the spring so this spring will come for us 
it will move up that means this unit will uh, completely move up resulting in the opening of uh, this spot and this uh, will be inserted to this area you can see a hole over here so the puppet will be actually uh, fixed uh, towards this hole so this is the portion where the service gallery is coming so the pressure will be exited over here where the puppet is inside and the puppet will move up so we have some holes over here that means we are, here we have some galleries so as the puppet moves up uh, this area gets opened up so what happens is that as this area gets opened up the oil uh, will tend to escape uh, through this uh, region outside so uh, that's how it's happening so this is it so when it this puppet moves up this gallery opens up so oil tend to escape through here towards the exhaust gallery and, and that's how the excess pressure created uh, is being vented so that's why how a relief valve is working uh, i hope you understand it thank you